Hi Flosstube, my name's Adele. Um, I've been meaning to do this video for about three years now um, and have been promising my bestie Michelle Gunn that I would do it for about a year um, amongst a lot of other people. I keep saying I'm going to do it and don't. So tonight is the night. Um, my husband's on his way home so I'm hoping to get this finished before he gets in. My two and a half year old is in bed asleep so hopefully she won't wake up and I'm hoping my two cats and dog don't interrupt either but we'll give it a go and see how we get on. Um, I thought I'd uh, do a video this evening because I participated in Stitch Mania. Um, so I thought I'd just go through all of the um, projects I worked on uh, and start there. See how it goes and I may post this, I may not, because I hate the sound of my own voice and I hate looking at myself so this is a bit weird. So I'll start with my day one start which was Spell of the Moon by Blackbird Designs and I dyed the fabric myself on this one so I can't even remember which way up it goes that way I think. Um, this is on 32 count Belfast linen um, and I tea and coffee dyed it then wasn't quite happy with the colour so I went over it with some grey ripped dye. Um, it is coming out a bit washed out but that is roughly the colour. So that was my day one start. Um, my day two was Peppermint Twist. I'm looking down because I've got notes because I did 31 starts. Can't remember them all in order. So this is Peppermint Twist. Uh, this is by Little House Needleworks. And this is the start I got on it. So this is stitched on 32 count Belfast and tea and coffee dyed. Next was Summer Schoolhouse, Lesson 1, which I my stitching, and this one I got, I'll have to put it behind there, a little start on, in fact I think again it's upside down. the windows and the door. Sorry if there's a lot of noise, rapper noise, sorry not sorry. This one is a freebie, it's Brouhaha by Plum Street Samplers. Uh, this was my day four and it's on 40 count Drapple Brown, say that again, 40 count Drapple Brown by x Designs. I love her fabric, she's amazing. Um, next is Glyn, my husband. Um, if you do find this video, please stop it and ask me when you can watch it. So this is Grumpy Kitty uh, by Brooks Books and I'm stitching this on 32 count Murano. It was pearl grey but I rip dyed it um, with royal blue I believe. And that just reminds me of E.T. every time I look at it. It doesn't look anything like Grumpy Kitty at the moment. Grumpy Kitty because my husband can be really grumpy. Especially on Sundays, I have no idea why. Um, the next one, which is day six, was probably the one that I was least looking forward to. Not that I don't like it, and I'm not sure why I was least looking forward to it. But this is by Shepherd's Bush, and it is Busy Bee Stitching Tray. Anyone who knows me knows I'm obsessed with stitching anything bee. And I've got quite a bit done on this one. You'll notice with a lot of them I didn't at the beginning of the month, well any time in the month, get a lot done. At the beginning of the month I was on holiday in the Sillies at the World Gig Rowing Championships because my husband competes. Um, so we go every year in May. And um, 
I work three days a week, extra long hours, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't really get a lot of time to stitch. The other two days, two working days, I look after my daughter and I like to play with her. So the next one is Winter's Frost. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a photo of the how it looks finished. Um, this is by the Woolly You Designs um, on Etsy. She is so lovely. I had to message her about a couple of things and she was amazing. Um, I'm stitching this on 36 count um, linen that I tea and coffee dyed. Um, and these are all in over dyed threads. And then day eight is um, last year for Stitch Mania I started um, some Halloween pillows that were in the world of cross stitching. Um, I finished the witch one and this is the start that I got on the pumpkin one. Um, I'll show you the finish if I decide to do another video. So that is, that fabric is um, 28 count pumpkin patch by Sparklies. Um, and it's, as I say, the design was in World of Cross Stitching 246, 246. Okay, my next one is Duncan Dog, Brooks Books, The Advent Animals. I don't have a colour copy but it's the little Scotty dog and these I stole the fabric idea completely and border from now from Little House Little Yellow House Crafts love her um, that's the start I got on him drop the other one two seconds so close up sorry the next one I started, which was my day 10, was Welcome Spring by Brenda Gervais. I love Brenda Gervais. Um, so that's that one. And I stitch, am stitching this on another XG Designs 40 count cafe latte. Um, and I got a really tiny start on this one. A little bit of egg. Can you even see that? Just. Okay, next was a Mill Hill kit. And that is. Now, this one I saw stitched up by Jeanette on Instagram, I can't remember her name. How can I not remember her name? I remember her. So this is Jim Shaw Mill Hill Kit, Dancing Santa, and this is gonna be my um, daughter's ornament this year. And so I'm stitching it on the perforated paper, and I literally got a tiny amount done. This one is my day 12 and this was Electra by Nora Corbett. I didn't dig the charts, some of the charts I didn't spend time digging out. Um, it's this one. I believe it goes this way up. And I'm stitching this on, um, let's have a look. 32 count linen um, in Maelstrom by Sparklies. So it's kind of like a greeny blue. That's quite a good. Yeah, that's about it. 
and when I was at a retreat in October, Kate helped me pick it out. She's the owner of Sparklies. She actually helped me pick several fabrics. Um, and then the next one, which is day 13, is Merry Christmas. Again, by Brenda Gervais. And this is... I really love the style on this one. This must have been a weekday. This was the start of my... In fact, I even think it's again upside down. My teeny tiny start on the ho-ho-ho. And then sunflowers in summer. Cottage Needleworks and this is again I tea and coffee dyed this one um, 32 count Murano um, tea and coffee dyed okay. and that was day 14 and the reason why I love stitch mania is that I hate starting projects I hate the fuss of starting it all so um, when I first met Michelle last year I had about four projects and that was a lot for me and Michelle started everything this year we seem to have switched roles and I seem to be starting everything and Michelle's sticking to her whips um, which is a good thing uh, so I like the fact that with um, Stitch Mania I've got all these things started and I can pick them up um, and stitch on them whenever I want and they're ready to go I just pick them up and start there's no fuss with it um, I still I love to have finishes um, so I will still continue working on one or two main projects and just get to these when I get to them it doesn't bother me it used to but it doesn't now so this one is, which is day 15, is a good housewife design called uh, The Bee Man's Garden. I'm hoping she's, well, I know she's going to release, re release all of her designs because I've messaged her. Um, but there's several designs of hers that I'd really like her to release soon so I can buy them. And that was my tiny in start. one is another stolen idea from my friend Christy with a K on uh, Flossy. So she stitched these, um, I just call them Halloween Row, um, by the Prairie Schooler. So they're all the mini designs that she stitched um, in a row um, all on the same piece of fabric in a row. So um, I'm doing mine on 36 count, I believe. 36 count cauldron by Picture This Plus. So it's like a, a real bluey grey. It's quite bluey grey um, with orange splotches on it. And I absolutely love this fabric. And that's my start on the middle one, the middle chart. I have switched out the colours on that one, rather than doing, I think it calls for DMC, um, I actually chose to do it in over dyed threads, so I'm doing it in espresso bean, which you can't see there, but it is kind of brown to black. Um, sweet potato for the orange, by weeks, and pelican grey any of the grey bits which actually I think only one of them has a tiny amount of grey but I didn't realise that at the time 
um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the other colour. I think it's one of the roofs, but I don't, I don't really like it being that different. So I'll see when I get to that. I'll make a decision. Sorry, I'm going to have to put these away. My next start, which was, that was 16, day 16. My next start, which was day 17. A lot of these I've had kitted up for ages, so this is just my excuse to start them. That's my cat jumping on the window. Um, this one is Peacock and Pinwheels by Tempting Tangles. Um, as I say, I've had this for ages, and my plan was to stitch it one over one on white, antique white. Um, and I've put off starting it because I've just kind of gone off that idea and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. And then, um, just prior to Stitch Mania, I had a brainwave and decided to speak to the owner of x Designs Fabrics and asked her to dye me another piece of Cafe Latte, um, but on 46 count. Um, I was worried about running out of the dinky dies uh, because it does say if you choose a different count you might run out. So I went as close to 28 over 1 as I could, not realising she does 56, which would have been 28, the same as 28. And that was my start. That's probably more like it. I absolutely loved working, I loved working on everything, but I did love working on this um, 46 count. And the stitches are so, so tiny. I think whether you can find that where focus. Enough for you to see. I've got everything collapsing on me now. Right, so that was day 17 so day day 18 so I really wanted to start this and I had some fabric some of the floss and I wasn't sure what I was going to do um, and then when I got my x designs order which was part way through mania um, she normally sends a little sample freebie so every time I've ordered from her it's always been uh, one of her flosses which are lovely and I love stitching with those um, this time she sent me a small cut of 56 count Kingston I believe it is yeah 56 count Kings Kingston um, it was in a really pale yellow colour so um, once I decided I'd actually really like to stitch um, this design on it um, I didn't like the colour that it was pale yellow for this design so because I was so desperate to try it I've not stitched on 56 count before um, I tea and coffee dyed it um, so that I could make a start and so this Blessed Bee by Brenda Gervais and this is my teeny tiny teeny tiny start I absolutely love it. I love how tiny it is. However, I did prefer working on the 46 count. Um, and I have no idea what reason that is. I can see perfectly well. I just prefer the 46. Um, my next one, that was day 18, so this is 19, was... Glyn, if you're watching. Oh, you can watch this, you know about this one. Yuletide Shanty. So this came out just before Christmas last year, so I ordered it um, because it is everything. I swear she knew my husband when she designed this. So he absolutely loves boats and anything to do with the sea. He loves Christmas, Santa. It's got the big white whale on it anything to do with the sea, he loves any sea creatures. He read Moby Dick, he never used to read until he met me and I kind of forced him into starting to read. He loves reading, one of the books he started um, with 
not long after we met, was Moby Dick. Um, and then the other thing is the saying on it. Um, so it says, Old Saint Nick, he sails the seas. His beard grows long, so he won't freeze. And he always says he has a beard because it keeps him warm in the winter. So it really is just for him. Um, and this one I got, again, a fairly small start. I don't know why I've left all my threads on the front because I don't normally. So this is another Extra Designs um, fabric. This is a 38 count and it's in the colourway uh, My Little Dove. I wanted a slightly darker grey, bluey grey. Um, but that was fine. I ordered it, it was already a pre-dyed one. I chose it off the website. It'll look good. It'll be fine. It is actually closer to what is on the picture, so I was just being fussy. Ah, uh, right. My next one, which was day 20. Mum, if you're watching this, you really have to stop. Don't watch any more phone me and see if you're allowed to watch the rest of this because I don't want this spoiled. So this is a surprise for my mum and this is Acorns by Indigo Rose and it's in memory of my stepdad who passed away last year um, because he loved oak trees and anything to do with And this one is on my big frame, so I'll have to take it out. And it's in a pillowcase, so the cat's hair doesn't get on it. And this is the star I've got, I'm trying not to knock over my drink. So that one I'm now working on religiously. Um, I want to try and get that done as soon as possible. Um, so day 21 was Pomegranate Santa by Plum Street Samplers. I don't know what I've done with the chart. As I say, I spent forever trying to prep this video and just gave up trying to collect stuff. So this one is, because I can't see, I don't even know which way up it's meant to go. We'll go for that way. Um, so Pomegranate Santa by Plum Street. And this is on 40 count gingerbread by Sparkly's Fabric. And then my next start. You will see this mania that I obsessed with Plum Street and Brenda Gervais. Right, so my next start was Cinnamon Stars by Plum Street. This is a really tiny one. I absolutely love this design. I've had it kitted for forever. Um, and I always find excuses not to start things, hence why Mania is brilliant for me. So I really can't wait to get back to this one for my teeny tiny start. And this is on 40 count Barely Bronze by Sparklies. It looks kind of white in that. It's a lot... It is a very pale um, neutral, but it's not that white. Um, my next one was, I have several kits that, um, that I've just abandoned, um, never started. I kind of like other things rather than um, kit projects at the moment. Um, however, I decided to go through, seeing as I was starting so many other things, and try and pick something out from my kits um, to, try and, to try and use them. I still really like them. I just keep choosing other things to start. So this one was, this one is called Magnolia, and it's by 
Goblin. 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 Anchor. And this is actually a Petit Point kit, so it's just kind of half stitches um, over one on 25 count. And I'm just stitching it on the canvas, 25 count canvas it came with. So I'm stitching all the background. At the moment, it's just going to be loads and loads of black. So I'll just keep picking this up in between my other projects um, when I don't want to concentrate and I just want to stitch. I'll pick this one up and get through that. Um, so this is on the 25 count canvas and it literally, it could stand up. Ta -da. Um, but it's easy stitch. Really enjoyed working on that. My next start is Louise's fault um, because she stitched this and when she came round I had it kitted I keep meaning to start it I never do and um, yeah every time I saw hers I just kept wanting to stitch it so this is Petal Fairy again I forgot to get the chart out um, I'll try and get it out next time by Mirabilia I got a little start on that. And this fabric was another one that Kate helped me choose at the retreat from Sparkly's. Um, but it's an unnamed one. It was just out of the um, the bin of fabrics that she had there. Um, and it's a gorgeous kind of minty spring green. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, okay, so that's day 24. Day 25 is another plum street and another B so this one is it was a limited edition kit I believe um, with um, was it Norden Crafts? yeah Norden Crafts and I struggled to get this for a long time um, without paying extortionate amount um, to get it over here in the UK it was the one chart that I just had to have and wanted and wanted and wanted and um, the amazing Stitching by the Lake, Marlene um, if you don't watch her you absolutely should I'm obsessed with her, I absolutely love her um, she, someone stitched this for her and prior to that she'd said I could have it when, whenever she finished it um, and someone recently stitched it and sent her the finished piece so she sent me the chart because now she's not going to stitch it so I had to start that. And this is on 40 count Drapple Brown by XG Designs. And it's just leafy bits, so I don't know which way they go that way, I think. Okay, day 26 is Twisted Band Sampler by um, Twisted Rainbow Sampler by Northern Expressions Needleworks. I've got the PDF so I haven't printed a picture of it but I'm sure you know what it is. So I'm doing this on the black 32 count Belfast and that's what I got done. And I am stitching this using the thread pickers. Such a long way. Big old piece of fabric. Um, the thread picker silk, the original rainbow pack. Um, again, another one I've had in my stash for ever. Um, yeah, so I'm using the thread pickers original silks. And these are lovely to stitch with. Absolutely love them. Um, I really enjoyed stitching on that. Sorry, trying to put some stuff away. Um, so that was day 26. Day 27 was A Cottage Welcome by uh, the Cross Eyed Cricket collection. When I first bought this, I saw someone else who'd stitched it and um, they had done a colour conversion on some of the um, motifs and I absolutely loved it and I went to start it this mania and I cannot find 
the blog of the person who did it. I can't remember her name. Um, so I've completely lost that information. I've pulled all the floss for this and it's quite, it's not really what I want to do it in. So I'm gonna have to go through um, with my husband's help, who's great with color, um, go through and pick some more brighter colors, I think, for it. Um, I think she'd done this in red and some other bits had changed. Um, so I'm stitching this on sparklies. Um, this one I bought at the most recent Milton Keynes retreat um, for this. And this is British Summertime and it's a, I believe a 32 count, yeah, 32 count Belfast. And it's a really light summer sky blue. Like it's got clouds in it. Um, so I just stitched the um, 3865 on it because I need to decide on colours before I stitch on it again. That 31 minutes. I so thought I was going to get this done in like 10 until I started pulling everything out. I wasn't actually going to show you all of them but they're all out now. Once I started doing it I thought if I don't do it now I won't do it. So the next one is day 28 and this is early morning Santa Mill Hill kit. You've got to love a Santa that's holding a chicken and a basket of eggs. Love chickens as well. Chickens, cows, bees, Christmas, Halloween. So that was my... star on it and that one's actually just for me because I love the chicken with the Santa no one else's ornament just mine so next was actually I found this pattern because of um, farm girl um, here on floss tube uh, in her last video, I think it was her last video, she did it outside and it was so funny, it was brilliant, I loved it. Um, with all her goats coming over and interrupting, it was brilliant. Um, and she showed a freebie that she got from Sub Rosa. Um, so I went looking for it and I couldn't find it, but what kept coming up was this one. Um, and I thought, I'm going to have to stitch that. So I, I printed it all out and then eventually found the one that um, she had as well. So... I decided to add them both to my mania, seeing as at that point I didn't actually have 31 projects thought of yet. So this one is, I just call it Crows Gather here, I don't know what the name actually is. And this one I'm stitching on some of the cauldron that was left over from the Halloween row. Um, I believe it's this way up. is in Onyx Weeks Dye Works. I absolutely love that. I can't wait to get back to that. Actually, I say that about all of my projects. And I really can't. Um, so day, that was day 29. Day 30 was the other, the one that um, Farm Girl did. More bees. So this one is just, I call it freebie. Don't think it's actually got a name. And this is on more of the Drapel Brown, I believe. I got so many projects out of this Drapel Brown and it's just a fat quarter, but it seems to have gone forever. So yeah, 40 count Drapel Brown by XGU X Designs and it's the Subrosa freebie. And this one, it actually, the she gives you DMC colours for it, um, but when I pulled the DMC, they weren't. I didn't really like the colours, not for what I wanted. So I decided to just go through some of my overdyed threads and pick what I wanted. So I'm using Grecian gold for all the yellow, and what did I pick for the other one? Garden Gate, I think. Can't 
I'll remember. But I'll just be picking them as I go. Um, just use up some of what I've got. And then my last one is, had to be Plum Street, had to be a bee, is Gathering Honey. Absolutely love this. Surprise, surprise. And this is on the other half of the Barely Bronze 40 Count by Sparklies. Um, I've got... I only got a um, small amount on this one done as well. See, that's looking quite grey with that colour, but it's actually mountain mist, which is quite a greeny blue colour. And that's all of them. That was my Nymania, and I loved it. And I still have so many more charts that, well, kitted projects that I'd like to start and charts that I'd like to kit and start. Um, but 31 for now. I'm starting another one. At, I go to a retreat on Thursday with Michelle and lots of other lovely ladies. I can't wait to meet up with them all again. And um, so I'm having a new start there. But mostly we'll be stitching on acorns. Um, yes, so that's my first video. Um, if I decide to do another one I might show you some of my finishes or um, some of my other whips um, that I've been working on but we'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching and maybe I'll see you next time. Bye!